Okay, what's happening, brother? Actually, said, what's happening to my man? That little verse there, so I guess he's talking to me. Um, actually, this is my Marvin Gaye t-shirt that my main man, Steve Marshall, gave me years ago, 2005, whenever it is, as a present, because he knows I'm a Marvin Gaye. He's the only one I would say a, a fan. You know, everybody else, I appreciate their music more than a fan. And um, as you may may not know, uh, this is Marvin Gaye time. He was, he was, um, uh, shot, killed on the 1st of April, and his birthday happened to be on the 2nd of April, which goes into a whole prosecution thing that I explained someplace else about the bad things happened before your birthday, but we're going into that right now. But I'm just wondering, this is kind of interesting. Marvin, uh, actually, there's a thing, there's a thing, there's some African situation, there's a thing where, you know, when somebody's birthday comes up, then you can, you can talk to them as you will. You can tell them all the bad things or the negative things you did in their life, give to them or that year or whatever, have you supposed to forgive you. But let's say Marvin is asking me, you know, hey, my man, what's, what's, what's going on? What am I going to tell him? You know? And a burning thing on my mind is this is, this whole thing has really got me riled up. I actually don't know, well, actually, I do know why. why. Um, this whole thing about uh, what's happening in the States, but around immigration, not just immigration, but just, um, let's call it, uh, um, Octavia Butler has this, has this thing that somebody said, and I sent it around on WhatsApp uh, about, you know, you get to, about leaders, you know, the kind of leaders you get. And uh, I went and, uh, and, and thinking, you know, science fiction, you know, they know what's going on. This is almost like science fiction that we're going to right now, but all over the world, uh, even here, right in South Africa, so we're in black today, for instance, some black. Um, this supposed to be a call for wearing black today is some Monday. Um, uh, and then there's supposed to be an action uh, come Friday, uh, the, which was Friday the 7th, whenever it is, uh, 6th, 7th. Uh, and it's really about the way the government is being run, for, about, talking about building South Africa. And uh, really, they don't like the way it's being done and how, you know, the people up top, you know, the politicians keep on gaming the system. And I guess it's the same, it's, well, it is the same way in the States and a bunch of places all over the world. So back to this whole immigration thing, here's the problem that I really have with this whole immigration thing about, forget, forget the legal, illegal, it doesn't matter, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Um, like I said before, a lot of folks come to, for instance, the States, and they demonize black people who've been in struggle against this belly of the beast to, to give people to have a just life, you know. And folks come up here jumping over, putting us down, and in fact buy into that system that makes the injustice. When I say buy into that system, you know, they do all those things, you know, they, they have their intact families and they, they're going to go to, to the Ivy League. One kid, one kid from, from Nigeria was accepted to all the Ivy League schools, you know, and they used him as this, as this perfect example. Their parents, parents came to work at Targets one time and blah, 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 all the rest of this stuff. Then I'm going like, hold on a second. I appreciate that that an individual or their family can come over and of course take the gains, you know, the, the things that we put in, in place for them to prosper and then, you know, do what they do. Of course, the problem happens is that they look down on us, but we won't get into that right now. But there's a more important question. Why did you have to come to the United States? Really, you're Nigerian. What, 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 were you involved in the struggle for, for Ken Sarajevo? You know, with, with the whole oil situation, the Shell and all the rest of the other oil people in Nigeria? Um, are, you, are you there struggling? Are you back in your country struggling for all those uh, folks in, in the northern, the northeastern part of Nigeria, which the government just, just, just doesn't bother with, and Boko Haram is, is stealing, stealing your children? Are you struggling for that in, in Nigeria? So how could you come to the United States and those same things that caused the problem in your country is in the United States and you're paying that money and you're, 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 you're feeding that beast and as you're feeding the beast you're trampling on the people that's fighting the beast so you come over there to fight not the beast but to fight the people who's fighting the beast meanwhile back in your country where the beast is really doing its work or getting the raw materials you, you, nothing this is what I don't get now I'm talking about people, it doesn't forget Nigeria, it's the same thing for, for Mexico, for, 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 uh, for Honduras, you know, all the human rights people that, that's fighting for justice in Honduras, they are getting slaughtered by you are running away from Honduras and trying to get into the United States. Stay there and fight. When we need you in the United States, we will call you. <laughs>
That's the problem. That's what I would tell mama. I would tell mama people have become cowards. They won't stand up in their own backyard. Right now there's an injustice system. I was just talking to the cat this morning. Actually, he's from Zimbabwe. And he was working at one place, he was working at another place, and then he's working at this other place right now. And I asked him, we were you know, I asked him, why is this, you know, why did you change up? He said, oh, they treat you bad, they treat you bad. This is the only place that they treat me right. And actually, we're owned by a Nigerian. Let's go back to the positive day. A, 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 a Nigerian, he's working for a Nigerian now, okay? He's a problem. In South Africa, working for a Nigerian. Now, here's the thing. What he says, and it's so, I just find it to be true. The, the, the colonial system, the apartheid system that was put in place, it still exists. In many of these uh, big, especially big time shops, you have the, 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 the for lack of a better term, the, the um, I don't want to say the white people, but say the, those settler colonialists and, and the wealth and the legacy that they have, they, they are still in place. And then next run down the wrong is that whole colored class. In fact, it's an interesting thing. The question people are, are marching right now to get the word colored struck from the from the from 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 all legislation, constitution, whatever have you. They don't like that designated the quiz on people. But then you have the color class who, who the managing class. And then you have the the, the the autochthonous, you know, Africans are still toiling as they toil under colonialism. And that structure, no matter who's in charge of, in the government or whatever have you, that's still in place and that's what has to be funny. This whole this whole caste class uh, structure has to be totally decimated. And so that's what I don't like about immigration or whatever happened. Just my opinion, opinion from, from, from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.